Before I get started, I want to give a big thank you to the guys at VapoShop for providing the Aeromed 4.0 for review. Check them out at VapoShop.com. King here from Vapor Review Blog, and today we're going to be looking at the Aeromed 4.0 Desktop Vaporizer. This is a very unique looking convection desktop vaporizer. Some vaporizers are designed to be discreet. Some vaporizers are designed to be effective. The Aeromed is not a discreet tabletop vaporizer. It looks like a little bit of a science project with the big long metal neck uh, and halogen bulb assembly on the end. But looks aside, the Aeromed is an extremely effective desktop vaporizer with some of the best, if not the best, convection taste from any vaporizer I've tried. So right out of the box, the Aeromed will work in pretty much any country. Uh, you will need to buy a new plug for the, uh, for the socket on the Aeromed. Uh, it's a regular PC power cord. I got mine on eBay for a couple of bucks and it's uh, the, the Aeromed is designed to work with voltages in Europe and in the United States. Enough about the boring details though. Let's talk about how the Aeromed works for 30 seconds here. Uh, inside of the uh, light bulb housing at the end of that long neck there is a high powered UV free light bulb that heats the air around it. As you pull a temperature sensor uh, senses the temperature and fires up the light bulb as necessary to keep a constant flow of heat uh, coming down, but only when you're pulling. When you're not pulling, it's not cooking the herbs. Now to turn the Aeromed on and off, we have a nice big red button right at the top of the front. And to adjust the temperatures up and down, the two buttons on the bottom, left one is marked minus for temperature down, the right one is marked plus for temperature up very straightforward buttons. If you hold both buttons at the same time, you will alternate from Celsius and Fahrenheit with the Aeromed starting at its lowest available temperature at 60 Celsius or 152 Fahrenheit. So what I'm gonna do now is bring the Aeromed up to 380 degrees and see if I can't get that light bulb to fire up. Now, one way of doing it would be to uh, pull through the hose and lower the ambient air temperature around the temperature sensor. There it goes. And that light bulb is delivering a burst of heat that is keeping a constant temperature throughout the draw. One of my biggest gripes with the Aramed is how the herb holder connects with the light bulb assembly. Uh, while the light bulb assembly is cool, there is an audible click as it connects to the herb holder. And if you're connecting it a little bit too hard, and this is what happened to me once, I got a nice big crack right from the top to the bottom of the ch herb chamber. And uh, it continued to work for maybe another two weeks before I finally broke it, which was heartbreaking. Now that I have some experience with my Aeromed, I know that the best technique is to let the Aeromed warm up a little bit before I attach it to the herb holder. That loosens the Teflon a little bit. There's no click, there's no need to press down and risk breaking your glass. And it enables you to connect the Aeromed with your herb holder the perfect way. First thing you would do is to uh, preform the neck. Have it pointing straight up and down and at the right position to the herb holder. Then what you do is lift the Aeromed by the base of the neck and place it right onto the herb holder like so. Perfect fit. There's no need to press down. There's no need to snap pieces together. I had to cut that audio stream. I was rambling a little. So the Aeromed is a great fit for uh, a whole heck of a lot of people, but it's not for people who are looking for an easy... Uh, vaporizer solution that doesn't involve any hands-on work it's not uh, as much as I would love to say it's a one-button solution because it's a three-button vaporizer you know getting the glass to form working with the glass cleaning it that's a lot of work and it's all work that's rewarded with that great uh, taste and that pure uh, vapor experience you're not you're not tasting any steel you're not tasting any anything
That pretty much wraps this review up. The Aeromed is definitely one of my top desktop vaporizer choices uh, for, for multiple reasons, not to mention how much I love showing it off to people. It's a very hands-on experience, and I encourage anybody who has uh, an interest in, in not just uh, the vaporizables, but, but vaporizing and vaporizers, to do yourself a favor and check out the Aeromed. More information as well as a link to where you can buy the Aromad will be included in the notes below. This is my first video review and there's a lot to learn and when you're learning everything at once everything gets a little jumbled up and I start rambling and I'm recording audio over audio and video over video. Definitely leave some feedback, tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, what you'd like to see in the future. And don't forget to let me know if you guys see any super cool or interesting looking vaporizers that maybe I don't know about.